How did I get started being an artist? I'm going to give you guys the good stuff on this interview. I went to school for graphic design. And in the process of finishing that up, I dove into shallow water in Hawaii, uh, broke my neck, um, died, had an outer body experience. So I asked the doctor, hey, there's an art show coming up. Let me paint it. And this is after eight months of being laid up, just looking at the ceiling. And in that process, I would stand for five minutes, paint, and then have to sit down for 10 minutes. And then get back up for five minutes, paint, sit down for 10. By the end of the week and a half doing that, I could stand for 20 minutes. And that started my recovery, my true being paints. I come from painting on the street, so I always love a hard surface, a concrete wall. I think it's the best canvas to paint on. I start out very traditional in writing, like where it comes from out of New York, like your name, your signature that you put up on the wall or whatever. I think it's really important to understand the parameters of street art, graffiti, writing, and then t when you understand it, you can break it and really start to have fun with it. So that work is what's coined Super Burners with a fellow artist, Vulcan, and that was all about taking the traditional burner that people do and pushing every element, size, color, style, intricacy. The monochromatic work that I do, same structure as a very colorful Super Burners, but the super burners are strictly based in writing, strictly based in graffiti. I call graffiti writing. The majority of the guys started in it. We call it writing because we would never go up to one another and say, hey, what are you graffiti? No, he said, what are you writing? The monochromatic work is my like street art more. It's using traditional ideas in the art world of line, form, color. Uh, rendering of shades of green or pink or yellow. My vision is all over the board and somehow it's cohesive in my work. This is Apexer for Vibe TV.